Hi friends, welcome to WizBusters. I'm Emma and today I'm going to show you how to use the index function with examples in Google Sheets and Excel. This function will retrieve a value from a table or list based on the location of the rows and columns, kind of like using the latitude and longitude to see what country is in a specified location. The index function returns a value from the table at the given location cell specified by the row number and the column number. To use the index function, we need to tell Google Sheets or Excel three things. One, where we want to search. This is the range of cells of the table or list. Two, the row number in the range of cells in the list or table. Three, the column number in the range of cells in the table or list. In Google Sheets, you will see equal index, reference, row, column, while in Excel, you'll see index, reference, row num, column num. So let's dive into an example to see what I mean. Before we begin, to stay updated with new videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified of the latest videos out. Now, you suppose you have a schedule of airlines with arrival times in the morning and afternoon. We want to get the scheduled arrival times for these airlines. We are going to use the index function to retrieve these values. So we type in equal index. Recall there are three parameters. The first parameter is asking where we want to search. We want to retrieve our value from this range. So we select this range of cells. One thing I'd point out here is that it's best practice to make this an absolute reference. So we press the function F4 key or the F4 key, depending on whether you have a laptop or desktop. The second parameter is asking what is the row number of the value? Now, we want it for Air Canada, and Air Canada is in the one to the second row in our range selected. So we type in two. The third parameter is asking what is the column number in which the value that we want is located. The PM arrival, we want the PM arrival for Air Canada. So the PM arrival is in column one, two, three. It's in the third column. So we type in three here. We now close our parenthesis and press enter. Notice we got 330. When we check in our table, the answer is 330. Let's try it with Emirates. The first parameter is, where do we want to search for? So we want to search or retrieve it from this range. So we put an absolute reference. Secondly, the second parameter is asking what is the row number of the value. We can see that Emirates is in the one, two, three, four, five, fifth row. The third parameter is asking what is the column number in which the value that we want is located. The AM arrival time is in column number one, two. So we type in two. We now close the parenthesis and press enter. We've got an answer of 10 o'clock. Here, Emirates AM arrival time is at 10. So that matches with our table. Our final example is Air France, but we will use a different range. The first parameter is asking, where do we want to search? Well, we want to retrieve our value from this range. So let's type in B9 to D10. Use that range. Then the second parameter is asking, what is the row number of the value? Well, in this case, the row number Air France is number one. So we type in one. And the third parameter is for the PM time. So the PM arrival time continues to be in the third column. So we type in three, close the parenthesis and press enter. So in this case, we got 235 returned. Now that you know how to use the function, I wanted to touch on some other important points about this function. Firstly, in Google Sheets, both the second and third parameters are optional. 
if we typed in, let's type in here, equal index, and we put the entire table range here as our first parameter, and we omit the second and third parameters and we close our parenthesis, notice all the values of the table is returned. Air Canada to Lufthansa, all of the values. What if we put the first and second parameter and leave out the third parameter? Let's do that. Let's delete this and say in equal index, we continue to use this. And the first parameter, let's put one. Notice we got row one with all three columns. If we type in three as the second parameter index, we chose this range and type in three. Let's see what we get. We got row number three in this table range. What if we put a zero for the second parameter? So let's do equal index. We get all rows with all three columns. Now let's delete this. Let's try putting zero for row one and specify a column number one. Equal index zero and column number one. Notice that we get all rows in the first column. If we try zero for the second parameter and specify column number three, we get all rows in the third column. If we type in zero for both second and third parameters, we get the entire table. The second point is that we cannot put a negative number as either the second or third parameter. For example, suppose if we typed in index, we put our range, then we put negative one and two. We will get an error, hashtag num, exclamation mark, which says function index parameter two value negative one out of range. Thirdly, in Excel, when you use the index function, both the first and second parameters are mandatory. However, only the third parameter is optional in Excel. The fourth point to note is that this function, when combined with the match function, is extremely powerful in retrieving data. Take a look at the video link in the description below for more details on the index match combination. Thank you for watching this video and hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and hit the bell to get notifications of the latest videos out. See you in the next video.